G'day and welcome to the show. Today we start in the Ute capital of the world, Daniloquin. But it's not all about Ute. I learn about the Grand Pepper Merino and take a history lesson back at school. But we will be utilising those Utes and when we're done with that we're going to pack you up and we're going to move you to another magnificent Murray location. Stick around as we show you what's, what's up, up down, down under. It's time to see this land, this land of wonder. It's time to go and see what's up down under. This week we continue our Murray River trek from Machuca up to the Merino capital of Australia, Daniloquin, affectionately referred to as Denny. It is a caravaner's dream stop with lots to see, hear and do. Daniloquin is on a branch of the Murray River called the Edwards River, which runs into the Wakul River and then back to the Murray. Have you been doing a little bit of research, Tessa? I have been doing some research. The Daniloquin Lagoon Restoration Project is the result of several community organisations coming together to improve these wetlands mm -hmm. and also educate us on the benefit and purposes of them. Love it. Yeah, it's good. Tell me more. I will, thank you for asking. <laughs> so these wetlands are designed to act as a natural filtration system for water flowing in and out of the Edward River Plus, they help develop and protect aquaculture, bird life, frogs, the whole lot, and educate people like you and me who probably don't know too much about. This is true. And at the same time, it gives us lovely places to walk and sit mm. and take in the world. Yeah, I'm going to go read a sign. I'm going to go and sit and close my eyes in the sunshine. Okay. <laughs> hey, when you think of fish native to the Murray Darling Basin, what species do you think of? Carp. Good. Cod? Yes. But did you know that there are 46 native fish species that inhabit that region? Did not know that. Well, neither did I until I read these signs. But the purpose of these wetlands is to probably protect and develop some species that need a little bit of a help. What a great space. Yeah. You know what? If I lived in Denny, I wouldn't buy a fish tank. I'd just come down here. Like a natural fish tank. A little bit fish of fish tank. watching. It's a testament to all the communities that are working together to develop this area, isn't it? I love it. Now for that sunshine you're looking for? I'm just going to do a bit of fish watching. <laughs> Trying to soak up the solitude and beauty of these lagoons is pretty hard with Terry around, so I sent him off to find out about the ute muster. Erica, this is ute muster headquarters right here. It is. And I am surprised by the colour. <laughs> um, what's happening here? Well, this suit was produced last year to celebrate our Sweet 16th, so a group of local ladies got together and did these amazing squares to celebrate. So, yeah, we love our Yarn Bomb Ute. Okay, cool. And then the wall, the mosaic of things there, every year, what's, uh, what's with the badges and the stickers? So they're an iconic diamond sticker that's given to every ute that enters the Ute Master site. Yeah. And each year we have a new colour, so that's what that wall is right wow, there. Okay, cool. Tell me about the, the Daniloquin Ute Master. I've got probably some ideas, yeah. but I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. What, All right. What makes it so special? Well, I think it's just something that celebrates Australia so uniquely. Yeah. We've been going since 1999, so it's our 17th year this year, and every year just keeps growing. We get new people attending, we just celebrate Utes, we celebrate Australia, we celebrate fun. So it's just a good weekend for everyone. Now, this is where the engine room of all the organising it happens. Um, I want to sort of head out to where the action yeah. happens. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's do it. Right. Macca, what do you reckon? I reckon it looks like you've been doing a bit of work on your Ute, mate. Oh, well, you know how I feel about colour. We got a lift out to the Ute Muster site. Gee, Erica believes in Utes all right. Seriously, why would you turn up to Denny and not get your mugshot taken in front of the gates to the Denny Ute Muster? Can you give us a little bit of a behind the scenes tour? Of course. Let's do it. All right, let's go boys. Woo! Well, it took a bit of muscle to get the gates open and then we stepped, uh, rather drove up the big driveway. Not many stages in the world that you can say you've driven your ute up onto. That's pretty special, Erica. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and to look out over this field here, which has been utilised by 9,736 utes. That's phenomenal. You think that's a great stat, Tessa? In 2013, before our very eyes right here, there were almost 4,000 people turned up with their blue singlets on, mate. And here's one I prepared earlier. 
That makes me a little bit nervous. If you want to see the Ute Muster in full colour next year, log on to visitthemurray.com.au. Coming up, we pop into the Pepin Heritage Centre. What's up Down Under and this journey is made possible by the Caravan Industry Association of Victoria. If you'd like to find out more about the caravan industry, visit ciavic.com.au. Chemec have been helping caravanners go further with their wide range of products since 1972, but now they've made it even easier with Chemec.com. With the convenience of online shopping, you've got the ability to browse and purchase over 3,000 RV and caravan specific products in the comfort of your own home or anywhere you've got internet service. Like portable fridges to keep the important stuff cool. Camac have got five models to choose from as well as many others in the range. It's nice to have choices and at Camac's online retail store, you can choose to either have your goods delivered to your door or for peace of mind, go and pick them up from your local Camac retail outlet. You can read and write your own reviews because it's a community of caravanners for caravanners. Get great online deals and check out our clearance items to save big, along with free shipping within Australia. If you want to get your gear from the leading caravan parts and accessory supplier without leaving your home, go to the Chemec online retail store at chemec.com and go further. So Denise, this really is the heartbeat of Deniliquin, isn't it? It's the first port of call anyone should come to. It certainly is. It, um, it, we get lots of visitors from all over Australia and overseas. Um, and also local people coming in wanting information about other areas. Now the museum itself is incredible. It really captures the essence of Deniliquin and the Merino history. It does. Well, it's the backbone of Deniliquin really. It tells the importance of and the influence that the Pepin family had in the Merino industry in the 1850s, 60s and 70s. Now tell me about what's outside. Is there a jail that uh, we do. I need we to have, keep my eye um, out for? One of, the, one of the things that was brought in from uh, Wanganella was an old wooden one, per, well, one room jail. Still has the lock and bolts on the door and uh, when we have visitors here, they sometimes like to lock themselves in. So big enough for, for me of... to get rid of my crew for a night? Absolutely, yes. we can arrange that. Now don't try to tell me what to do again. Get in there. Get in there. Angela, let us out, please. See you next week. Edge! Edge, let us out! Oh, for some peace and quiet of a civilised meeting, maybe with Mayor of Deniliquin, the Honourable Lindsay Renwick, better known as Silver. Silver, Hi. how are you doing? I'm good, Ange. How are you? I'm good. And you're wandering around Denny finding all these little secret hidey hoes, eh? That's because I'm connected. Beautiful. To you. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about this beautiful town of yours. Ah, uh, it's lovely, and I, I just think so, I'm so proud of the fact that you guys are here filming to show the rest of Australia just how beautiful Deniliquin is. You know, it's, uh, I've seen you before filming on the river and our, our waterways, our parks, and uh, we're very, very proud. It's a very very go-ahead town, you know, it's one of those towns that uh, doesn't sleep. We have great fishing, We native fish are plentiful in Deniliquin and on the mighty Edwards River. And what are you likely to catch here? All native fish, um, mm. but Murray Cod's a prime fish that everyone, all the, all the professional fishermen want the Murray Cod. Mm -hmm. The elusive Murray Cod, but there are plenty in Denny. <laughs> and you just want the biggest one, don't well, you? Well, yeah, it's amazing and the whole world's changed. Where the old days where they'd, they'd actually catch those beautiful monsters and they'd take them away and eat them. Nowadays they take their photo and put them back in the river. Kiss them goodbye. It is and it's beautiful and I think that's great the way that the sporting people have actually got this tag and release system and I think it's it's that's why we're so healthy with the river. The fish are breeding so beautifully. So we're going to the RSL for a good feed, we're going to the Big Four, is there anything else you should suggest well, we should the, do? Well the Big Four is such a success story in itself you mm. know like it's only been it's been an old caravan park there since I was a little kid and uh, to think that the the new people, the big four people have come in and turned it into a spectacle that it is and it's, 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 well, it's Australia wide now and again and uh, wins, wins all the awards yep. every time Second I sort of the pick up the... Yeah, no, they've done a wonderful job and, and actually, you know, just to be able to sit out there on the side of the river in those magnificent caravans is perfect. I just had to check out the big four holiday park. Linda, this park is magnificent. So how did it all start for you? 
Uh, nearly 14 years ago, coming up in November 14 years ago. I've skied here since I was 18 years old, so it's a place that I've grown up in. And then the opportunity came up to buy it, and yeah, here we are, 14 years later, winning awards, and yeah, it's just, we just love it, it's a piece of paradise. The cabin I'm in is just amazing, looking over the river. What other accommodation options do you have? Currently we've got 23 cabins on site and we've got over 50 powered sites and that's always changing. We're sort of always developing and cultivating new grassed areas to expand. Um, the boys are busy at the moment building another four family villas which we'll have up and ready hopefully by the Ute Muster weekend um, and then heading into our busy season. What do you love about Deneliquin itself? It's just beautiful, it's so peaceful, um, you know, sitting up on the balcony or sunbaking down on the, on the riverbank during the day and during summer you, there's not a time that there's probably not a boat on the river and someone skiing or doing some kind of water sport. While Angie was talking lady stuff, I introduced myself to Linda's hubby Frank. Like, how far can you explore up and down the river from the park in the boat? Oh, we go, we're about the 23k mark to the weir from here. We ski down about 4k's and then we've got about another oh, 15 odd k's of sort of passive water that you can ski again. So, And then we go upstream the same way. So about 40k's upstream you can go. So 40k? Yeah, probably even further but I've never ventured that far. Fish in the river? Yeah, plenty of fish. Uh, you get the occasional carp but we're getting a lot more cod these days so it's, it's good. So if someone came out here with a rod, what's the chances of going home with a fish? Pretty good, pretty good. The kids seem to have a good time. It's trying to get a, a legal size one's probably the hardest part, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of fish they pull out of the river. And you need a licence to fish in? You do in New South Wales, but uh, on the pontoon boat we supply the licence, so you, uh, you pretty much can just jump on here and away you go. I am on the Edward River, which the Murray flows into, which just happens to be on the banks of the Big Four Deniliquin. Now, bringing your kayak to this park and having a leisurely kayak up and down the river is, in my opinion, a must. Angie and Macca did say they were going to join me. Ah, they'll be here somewhere. Yeah, I thought you guys were going to get out in the water with me. Well, we are out on the water with you, mate. Well, I thought it was a great idea you had. Yeah. I just thought this was even greater. We're getting on the river in a different fashion. Yeah, we are. We're still out here, mate. We're together. After the break, we see more of what the Murray has to offer. If you haven't already entered the Cub Campus competition, you better do it now. Your chance to win this brand new Brumby from Cub Campus. Valued at over $28,000. Featuring independent suspension, electric brakes, fridge box, stainless steel kitchen, and a whole lot more. The Brumby Camper Trailer is Australian designed and made with Australian steel. And Australian canvas, I'm feeling Australian. And there's nothing more Australian than a bonus prize drawn each month. So Chemec is throwing in the Chemec RV Media Package worth more than $1,100. There's even more chances to win. There's a $2,000 Chemec gift voucher and 10 $250 gift vouchers from Discovery Holiday Parks. And you can enter every day of the competition. So simply log on to whatsupdownunder.com.au and follow the prompts. Subscribe to the What's Up Down Under magazine and you'll still receive 100 bonus entries to the competition. So if you're feeling Australian like me, get your entries in now because the Cub Campus competition ends soon. Nissan, supporting What's Up Down Under and this journey. To see their latest models, visit your local Nissan dealer today or go online and log on to nissan.com.au. Starting to see more and more of these memorials pop up around Australia to the Vietnam War. Prior to that, most of the memorials were there for World War I and World War II. This particular one's got a really nice story to it. One of the local Vietnam vets here in Deniliquin was having a few struggles with the issues that uh, lingered with him after the war. And the local guys got together and they went and found this stone over in Vietnam, had it carved out in the likeness of him and his mates, because let's face it, when you dress them up like that to do that job, they all look pretty much the same, don't they? But they've brought it home and put it up here so that they've got their own special place to come and remember the time they spent overseas for us. Good on you, digger. Well, Vietnam was a pretty contentious issue, particularly for our conscripts. After all, they didn't put their hand up for the adventure, did they? The Deniliquin RSL boasts the most delicious meals in town. 
let's try them out. I'm here with Georgina, one of the duty managers at the Daniloquin RSL. You've got quite a club here. Tell us all about it. Oh yes, look, it's great. We've got a new kids area at the back, um, along with gaming facilities and sports bar. Uh, we've also got some great food, new, new chef recently, um, along with a fresh new menu. The place is absolutely bustling, and I've noticed the kids area. It's a real family environment, isn't it? Oh, it definitely is. And look, in the warmer weather, we have bands out in the beer garden, uh, which brings the family along. Just a nice night out. Yeah, lovely. What are your favourite parts of the club? Oh, I'd have to say the beer garden in the summer. Yeah, no. I think even last year we put a blow-up pool out there for the kids mm. uh, so they can have a bit of a paddle in the, in the heat. Good. I've heard some great things about the restaurant and the food. I've got Angie and Macca. They're starving. Any chance we can get a feed? Oh, look, I think we can organise really? something for you all. Yes. <laughs> great. It's amazing, isn't it? Fresh barra, mango salad. I'm a happy woman. It's like they knew. You're always happy, Angie. This is not true. <laughs> Pork belly for me. What do they do with the rest of the beef? Well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a rude question, my friend. <laughs> now that was truly one of the nicest meals I've ever eaten. I told you we'd be able to rely on the RE for a good feed. Mm, mm. Absolutely. Denny RSL, come through with the goods. And only around the corner from the holiday park. Mm -hmm. Winner, winner. That lunch was amazing. I'm ready for a little nap. You must I'm glad be you enjoy. Yeah, thank you. You must be super proud. The food coming out of that kitchen is really, really good. Yeah, it's definitely improved since the new chef has come in and we're all very happy with it. Yeah, we've had to roll Macca and Angie out. They're just sort of like wanting to have a snooze. If people want to find out more about the club, all of your facilities, where can they go? They can jump on our website, daniloquinrsl.com. Built for all types of conditions and tough enough to go anywhere, Van Cruiser's Outlaw SUV is about to change your way of camping. The Outlaw boasts checker plate on both sides with a pebble guard across the front and the back. The Outlaw SUV's off-road suspension consists of single axle control rider independent suspension with dual shockers and heavy duty coil springs. The Outlaw has an external slide out stainless steel kitchen. There's also a Vitri 60 litre fridge freezer with gas bayonet. The Outlaw is designed for those that simply want a place to sleep at night but want to spend the rest of their day outside. Having said that, this is pretty luxurious. Finally, the windows and roof hatches are Aussie Traveller double glazed tinted windows with block out blinds and fly screens. If you want to find out more about this Van Cruiser van or any other Van Cruiser van, visit gomakesomememories.com.au. Hang around, there's some great news coming up and we take a look at the Opus. There's a lot to see and do along the mighty Murray River, both in Victoria and New South Wales. Log on to their website at visitthemurray.com.au. Has your caravan gone on holiday without you? The Stolen Caravan Registry website has been set up as a free service for you in the unfortunate event that your caravan or RV has been stolen. List your stolen caravan or RV today at stolencaravanregistry.com.au. You can help join the Stolen Caravan Registry Army on Facebook to be alerted of recently stolen caravans and RVs. Help the community today. Here's a great limited time offer brought to you by Murray Regional Tourism. Enjoy three nights at RA. ACV Cobram Resort in this lakeside view cabin for just $465, which includes use of all resort facilities, including gym and indoor heated pool and spa. You also receive a brekkie pack on arrival, 20% off tickets for Kingfisher Cruises, a $15 voucher to Brereton's Bakery and Coffee Lounge, and free entry to the Barmer Forest and Heritage Education Centre. To book this limited offer or for more information on other great deals along the Murray, log on to visitthemurray.com.au forward slash spring deals and follow the links. Are you a Travel Saver Card member? There's never been a better time with over 5,000 discounts in Australia and New Zealand. You can now save at over 100 holiday parks, but the savings just got better. With the What's Up Down Under Travel Saver Card, you can now get a 25% discount on a Family Parks two-year membership, allowing you to save at 120 parks in both Australia and New Zealand. That's over 200 holiday parks. See the What's Up Down Under website for further details. Well, Jason, we're very excited for you to unveil the Opus on-road camper today. Over to you, mate. Thanks, Terry. 
Jason, that is quite an unveiling. Very cool design from the outside. Can we get a look inside? Well, how about Terry, I bring the inside to you? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Don't know how he's going to do that. Jason, this is fantastic. You bring new meaning to the term open living. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. What was the thinking behind this, can I ask? Just opening it up to uh, bring Mother Nature inside. Yeah. Why go camping and not see the outside? And weather-wise, in summer when it's a bit hot, talk about ventilation. Between this opening up the back windows and you've got your skylights above you, you might as well not be even in a tent. This is the first camper trailer that I've ever seen that has a club lounge, as well as two sort of double-sized beds at each end as well, and everything off the ground. Fantastic. To find out about the complete Opus range, visit gomakesomememories.com.au. I highly recommend as you travel that you drop in and visit the RSL clubs. You'll always get a good feed, a cold drink, and a flutter if you're that way inclined. But all I say is that while you're in there enjoying yourself, just take a moment to remember the ladies and gents who did some pretty hard jobs to ensure that you have the freedom to come in here and enjoy it. Now we're not on next week, so make sure you tune in the following Saturday when we show you what's up down under.